Hello everyone and welcome to Muse for You. This is John, your Adobe Muse instructor. And in this video, we're gonna go over colors and gradient. It's gonna be a quick video and I'll show you uh, what I've created here. Uh, so as you can see, there's a few colors here. This is actually an image, uh, this Muse for You. Uh, but we have some blue here. Uh, we have these rectangles with gradients in them, kind of to match the text here. And then right here, we have two different colors. Um, excuse me, that I grabbed from this image. Okay, so I'm going to open up Muse. I'm going to go ahead and delete these and I'll just recreate them. Um, so to add uh, gradients, let's say I create a rectangle. And I'm going to fill this with a gradient. So I've created the rectangle, I go to fill, um, and I go to where it says fill type. Just click gradient, and then we have two colors to choose from excuse me, to choose from. Um, and one thing that I use a lot, it's called the eyedropper tool. So if I click on the drop down next to the first color, um, I have this eyedropper tool and I can sample any color on my screen. Screen, um, excuse me, I can even sample this, uh, this dark blue right here. And I've just sampled that. Or I can sample, you know, uh, the pink on these icons. <laughs> it's pretty amazing. Um, it opens the program too, so I probably wouldn't recommend that. But <laughs> um, you can use the eyedropper tool on pretty much anything you see on your screen. So I'm gonna go ahead and duplicate this uh, yellow and green gradient on my text, uh, on this text here. So I'm just gonna put the eyedropper tool kind of on the top of this uh, U here to get that yellow. And then I'm gonna go to the second color, click the eyedropper tool, and I can even go to the screen because they're, they're the same gradient as the U and click on this green right here. So now we have a similar effect to these letters, kind of the yellow to the green. Um, it's kind of uh, going at a horizontal gradient. Uh, we want it to go at a vertical, so we just click vertical, and there we go. And we can even set the focal point kind of more green or yellow or 50-50. I'll leave it at 50-50. And we can set the opacity of one color to less than the other. And opacity just makes it a little bit clearer uh, there you go. So you can play a lot with that. I'm just going to copy and paste this and do this one more time for the purple and blue. I'm going to take the stroke off this one. Or I should say the blue and purple here. All right. And yeah, let me take the stroke off here. And again, I'm going to go to fill the first color, eyedropper tool, uh, click the blue, then go to the second color and pick the, that's actually a pretty cool effect, the green and the, uh, the blue. But yeah, I'll go ahead and select the eyedropper tool on the second color and just click there. And now I have the similar effect to my letters here in squares and I can do pretty much whatever I want with these squares or rectangles. And I can place text in them. I can, you know, put images in them or kind of use them how I'd like. I can even set uh, a gradient to my browser fill. So if I do like, you know, yellow and um, oops, yellow and green, my browser fill, and let me just uh, take out the color on this, that doesn't look very good, but if I preview this, my browser fill now has that yellow to green gradient, and I did that just by going to uh, browser fill and uh, changing it to gradient, and I can change it to vertical gradient, and it goes from yellow to green. It's pretty cool. Uh, because I'm using the gradients from my text, this text kind of looks a little bit weird. So I'm gonna go ahead and change the browser fill back to white. All right, there we go. Is that white? Oh, it has a green gradient on it. So let's make it a solid. There we go. All right, so uh, that's with gradients. I mean, you can do your browser fill with gradients, rectangles, you can fill them with gradients and all that uh, good stuff. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and copy these again, just copy these two, and this time I'm going to, and you can select uh, two rectangles at a time and kind of change them, change their properties at the same time. Uh, yeah, so this time I'm going to select colors from this image, and uh, this can work really well for you if you're designing your site um, around a certain image or you like an image, the color of an image and you want to use it for your site. Um, what you do is you just click on the rectangle, 
go to fill, go to color, uh, the color drop down, select the eyedropper tool, and then you can select any color on this image. So I'll select, uh, let me try a different one, maybe this uh, color right here. That's kind of that brown color that I got from the wood. And then, um, actually, you know what? I'm gonna use a lighter. Kind of want a creamier um, color. Yeah, maybe that's okay right there. And then if I go to the second one, this, this one that was, uh, that became a blue, um, I just go to fill, uh, color, eyedropper tool, and select that. I selected uh, that red from the uh, fruit there. All right, so you can see we got these colors from this image, and if we wanted to design our site with these colors to fit this image, it would look really nice. Um, and that's pretty much it, and you can also change the color of your text. You know, just highlight your text and, you know, change it to whatever color you'd like. So if I preview this in the browser, um, it has all my colors and looks really nice. Uh, you know, depending, I mean, I didn't do a lot of styling with the site, but uh, mostly for demonstration purposes. All right, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.